That's the old door. Here he's prepping the door for installation. He's pulling the staples out of the door. It's kind of like a, how they package it and stuff. Okay, we're getting ready to do a test fit for the door.
turn the hamster wheel gets to it. We're in a, we're test fitting right now. It's a little snug on the J channel. Looks like we're gonna have to adjust the top. So we ran into a little problem. The what was taller? The molding the was J taller? The brick molding on the door was a little taller. So we're gonna have to remove this and cut the sides up a little bit. Reuse that. We're just gonna cut the siding back a little bit and then put everything back in. We've cut the excess siding off, and he is now refitting the J channel and undersill back into the door jam, so we can dry fit the door again and make sure it fits. Right now he's putting a bead of silicone down for the door. I'm gonna make sure to do a nice bead. Behind the weather stripper, and you push, push in on that side door. Top it, but see how the gap down this side. Mm -hmm. All right. so we'll get one on the top. And... So you hide the screws back behind here. See where you put one. He puts them behind the weather stripping so you don't see them whenever you open them and close the door. And then he's going to put one up top here. I actually used uh, the screws for the Trek decking. They got two different threads on them. And it actually, once you run it in, you can run it in a little ways and then you can back it out and the finer thread allows you to adjust the movement of the door jam. And we use the trim. I'm just pull the nails out from the back side. Do that saves the front. I like to use end cutters. You can roll it real well. Okay. Reuse the trim. No, no, it's in the saddle box in one of the coffee cans.
marked it out around there with a pencil. And we're going to take a utility knife. And then you just ever so slowly pencil lines around. And then we'll get a we're gonna get a uh, chisel.